Your Excellency. General Secretary Xi Jinping, President of the People's Republic of China. Your Excellencies, leaders of political parties and organizations. On the occasion of the founding of the CPC, I would like to express my gratitude and happiness to attend the C CPC and World Political Parties Summit. On behalf of our party, the government, and people of Vietnam, I would like to extend the warmest congratulations to the Chinese government and the Chinese people. I would like to also extend greetings to all of you present here today. Over the past century, the CPC has led the Chinese people in making historic achievements that have been recognized the world over. Hereby, we would like to offer our heartfelt congratulations. We believe that under the leadership of the CPC with Comrade Xi Jinping at the core, the Chinese people will continue to score even greater achievements and make China into a democratic, beautiful, and strong country. Dear participants, in the course to independence and development, We in Vietnam have carried forward the internationalistic tradition and the friendship between China and Vietnam. The Communist Party of Vietnam is attending this summit with great sincerity. We are here to discuss the important topic of seeking happiness for the people, the responsibilities of political parties. The great leader of Vietnam the outstanding Ho Chi Minh, the founding father of Vietnam, said that people are the most important. Under heaven there is nothing that is more important than the people, and nothing is stronger than unity. I think all of us identify with this, because people are the foundation for political parties and organizations. And serving the people is the purpose of all political parties and organizations seeking Happiness is the right of anyone. Everyone has the aspiration for a better society in which everyone enjoys the right to development and to live a happy life. Everyone is equal and care about each other. This is our common aspiration. Besides, different peoples around the world may have different concerns, such as ending wars, putting an end to inequality, responding to climate change and the pandemic, etc. Peace, development, and cooperation remain the underlying trends of our times. Peoples around the world also face the challenges of turmoil, conflict, lack of economic development, fluidity, and traditional and non-traditional threats, economic and social crisis, social turmoil, climate change, pollution, terrorism, etc. And now COVID-19 is raging around the world, wreaking havoc in different areas of our society. As important political parties and organizations, we shoulder the important responsibility to play our due role to work with governments of around the world and to jointly deal with challenges 
head on. We should improve our governance capacities so as to seek well-being for the people. I would like to share the following thoughts. First, at the national level, we should implement policies and principles that aim at serving the people and put people first. We should take the happiness of the people as the most lofty goal of ours, and they should be the starting point and the finish line of each and every policy. We should follow these principles. Second, political parties should work together in great solidarity. We should enhance mutual understanding and international cooperation, respect the legitimate concerns of each other, and jointly deal with traditional and non-traditional security challenges. We should upheld the international law and use them to deal with regional conflicts. As long as different countries and nations work in unison with mutual respect and mutual assistance, then people around the world will enjoy true happiness. Third, political parties and organizations have the urgent task to put an end and defeat the pandemic and to promote accelerated economic and social recoveries so as to create conditions for the happiness of the people. Therefore, we should work in concert to fulfill our task and obligation. However, we still have to do more to deliver effective international governance to ensure effective and equitable distribution of vaccines. Dear participants, the Communist Party of Vietnam put in its first political document the basic political tasks of our party, that is, to meet the strong demands of the people. Chairman Hu Chi Minh told us that the interests of the party belong to the people. Over the past 90 years, our party has maintained flesh and blood relations with our people. We have led the people of Vietnam in overcoming one difficulty after another. Since independence, we have led the Vietnamese people in scoring independence in 19. 45, thus realizing people's strong desire for independence. We also went, underwent two wars to realize the reunification of the country in 1975. Since then, we have worked relentlessly to safeguard our national interests and to rebuild our country after the wars. Currently, Vietnam has entered the rank of a developing country with middle incomes. We have booming culture development and a high culture standard. We are among one of the highest in terms of human development index compared with people and countries in the same bracket, we are among the first. Over the past one year, we have fought relentlessly against a pandemic, and we have always put the life and health of our people first. We took proactive measures in fighting the pandemic. At the same time, we also spend efforts in recovering the economy and ensuring the livelihood of the people. We have learned that we should always put the interests of the people first. We have to rely on the people. And we should utilize the strength of the people. In the process of development, we should always follow the underlying laws. 
At the same time, we should protect the environment. Culture is the underlying driving force for the development of the country. We should fully leverage the enterprising spirit and innovation of our people. And we aim at developing friendly relations with countries around the world with strong determination to further develop the country. We are working relentlessly to build an effective and strong party and political system. At the same time, pressing ahead with our reform and modernization drive so as to realize independence, diversified development, and full integration into the international community. We, we will always be reliable partner for other countries, and we will continue to press ahead with friendly ties with other political parties and organizations to contribute to the development and the progress of mankind. On this occasion, on behalf of the Communist Party of Vietnam and the people of Vietnam, I would like to send greetings and express our gratification and appreciation to all the countries and the parties for your valuable support. We thank China for its valuable support for our efforts at independence and development. I wish the summit full success. Thank you.